In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to fix a broken cabinet door. As you can see, there's been a little bit of wear and tear going on, and we're going to fix it. I've gone out in the garage, and I found some brackets I just opened up, mending brackets. These mending brackets can be used to, to fix such a defect. First, you have to find out where you're gonna put this mending bracket and it would be ideal if it were a little bit smaller. However, I didn't have a smaller one in my garage. So we're just gonna to try to do the best with what we got. I'm gonna drill some holes first. Always drill your holes first. I could draw a template, but this way is a little better. I used a 3 32nd drill bit to drill those small holes. Phillips head screwdriver on your power driver. Okay, I had to go down to my local store and get some wood glue because I think wood glue is very important for this project. So I'm going to put just a little bit of glue in here. Nice to have a little brush to brush it in there. Good. When this glue dries, it's it's fairly clear. And I'm gonna get some just a little bit on that area there. Some a little bit dribble down there. That's good. Okay. holding it close with my leg. Now I've got the bracket in the correct location. Drilled the hole in a little bit to draw that bracket across the joint. So that it would hold it much tighter. And as I said before, it's always important to drill those holes first. You can see the screw is going in at an angle. And that's on purpose to draw draw the bracket tight across that joint. All right, well. Oh, it's cracked all the way down. Oh, I need a bracket on the bottom also. After I put in that one bracket that was square, that didn't really fit very well, I noticed that the very bottom was falling apart. So I took the door off and I got this clamp and I glued the entire crack and including the part that was coming apart at the top. And then I put the door in this clamp and this is the top. And I put this narrower bracket on both sides. I did all this yesterday and now being almost 24 hours later, I think the glue is dried and I can put it back on. Zach is gonna hold this for me while I screw it back on. 